Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC. The purpose of my videos is to give tips to job seekers by interviewing experts in the field. If you are a first time watcher, please subscribe to the channel so that you can get the notification every time I post a new video. So let's start with today's interview. Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. Today I have the privilege to interview Josh Levine. He's an educator, designer, and best-selling author. But above all, he's on mission to help organization design a culture advantage. Welcome, Josh. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for uh, being with us. So can, can you tell me more about yourself and your journey in terms of your career and if there was any obstacles that you overcome that you can share with us? Yeah, sure. Uh, lots of lots of obstacles. <laughs> I have to choose which one. Yeah, so I, um, um, I I started my career as a graphic designer, and I so I got um, I trained as a graphic designer <clears throat> here in San Francisco, and um, got my first job as a as a creative director at a brand strategy firm, and. Um, the over time, I, I, I shifted from my focus being on the graphic design to brand strategy and really kind of <clears throat> cut my teeth as a brand strategist really became that really was kind of my calling. And then at a certain point, I had a this was, the, I would say, the big challenge. <laughs> I had this moment I had worked for this agency for six or seven years and I was like, you know what, I'm not learning anymore. Um, it's time for me to go. It was comfortable. It was fine, but I didn't feel very motivated. And so I, I essentially agreed with my boss. I said, okay, I'm going to looking for a new work. And he said, okay, great. Why don't we have a, like a six more month off boarding where I would leave in six months. Okay. Agreed. It gave me enough time to find some jobs or job leads at least. And then, um, I had a couple offers kind of the, the end date came and, right that same week, the housing crisis um, erupted. So the entire stock market and the industry collapsed uh, and I was didn't have a job. And then all of these offers that um, I had lined up, everybody was saying, well, we're going to wait like a quarter before we hire anybody. And I was like, uh-oh, like I was out of work. <laughs> Uh, so it was hard. I had a young kid and a wife and, and so I was thinking, okay, what would I do? And in that time I had like these six months where I was sort of thinking, um, what I think, what I say is I had my, my job search, it moved to a soul search it was like, what did I want to do with my life? Because there was no, <clears throat> there was no like positions that I was, you know, like working towards and, and I didn't, I wasn't applying for. And so ultimately what, um, what I ended up uh, realizing is that um, moving in this thinking about the brand strategy work, it was, what I realized is that there was going to be more, um, I was going to be able to have a greater impact helping, helping people and companies <laughs> deliver on these uh, brand promises. And the only way we're going to do that is to get the employees on board. And that was my journey. That was the very beginning of my journey towards uh, company culture. Now, the other major roadblock at that moment or challenge that I had to overcome was I eventually figured out that this was, I kind of figured out that this is what I want. I didn't know it was called culture, but eventually I figured that out. And I, and I told everybody, I said, okay, I'm no longer um, a brand strategist. I'm, I'm going to work on company culture. And and this being 10 years ago, everybody went, what? I don't know what that is. And so that was a big, that was a big problem because I needed to, I needed a job. I need to make money. So what I ended up doing, and I think this is, I'm going into more detail because I think your listeners and viewers are interested is that I, I ended up doing brand strategy work for a long time, all the while thinking about and learning about culture. I was convinced that company culture was where I wanted to put my time and energy and this was going to become important. And so just because I was stubborn, I guess, um, I was just thinking about this. And luckily about six or seven years ago, people started to talk about it and now it's like a thing. 
Yeah. So that's, that's kind of, that was the, those are the two, I would say major, major challenges, but without those, I would not have not, wouldn't be where I am. Yeah. But thank you, Josh, for sharing those obstacles with me. And I believe some of the viewers or listeners will kind of relate because uh, finding your passion and purpose is very important. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes, yeah. as you mentioned, we need a job just to pay the bills. But if we keep focus and keep believing that what we want to do in life, we'll, we'll try to find it. And I feel that that will eventually will come. So yeah. thank you again for sharing that with me. For the audience and listeners, like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in for another question with Josh tomorrow.